In this tutorial, we'll do a little cleaning up on the grid view and uh, add the Ajax editor to the details view. So the thing we're going to clean up is we're going to get rid of this content column because you notice it makes the grid view hard to use. So let's come in here and see, I'm not able to get to his Rob, so I'm going to switch to source view. Click on the grid view. Go back to design view. There we go. We'll edit columns and that content column will just get rid of that. Then uh, that takes care of that. And then we'll go to our details view, go to the source code, and in the edit item template, we'll come down here and drop in the Ajax editor. And then we need to fix this so that it also reads it from the database. And the property that it puts it into, or the, I'm sorry, the attribute that we should set here is not text, but it's content on the Ajax editor. So we'll just copy this to get what's in the database already into the editor, loaded in the editor. Sorry, I'm just trying to pretty this up. Okay, then the next, last thing we need to do is come up to the top of the page and, or actually the top of the content section here and add in the script manager. So let's test this out. Let's see what it's complaining about here. Oh, I'm sorry, I got him in the wrong place. He's between the two sections. So we'll cut it there. We wanted to go here just there. Okay, so let's save this. And, oh, I'm sorry, the last thing we need to do too is make sure and give that editor height and width so it'll show up in the WebKit browsers, Chrome and Safari. So we'll set the height equal to, I'm going to set it to 300 pixels. And then the width set to 100%. And I think we need to set a width on this whole details view too. You know, right now the width's set to 125 pixels. Let's set this to be 100% as well. And we can get rid of the height. Okay, so now let's save this and test it. Okay, so our grid view looks better. Then we can select one of these. And it opens up in the details view. And we can edit here. And we'll just make a couple changes here. Then we're going to have to fix this. We won't be able to save these changes because, yeah, I don't know if you remember, but we're going to get the, uh, the error about the. Oh, I'm sorry, it did update. That's. Interesting. I thought we'd get the dangerous right protection error. Okay, so looks like uh, looks like that's working. Let's end this tutorial.